Hold on a sec. Okay, good luck, Snake. Thanks. According to Granin, you should be able to get to the mountains through a passage located deep in the jungle beyond the warehouse. Use the key you got from Granin to open the door and proceed into the jungle. You remember where the door is, don't you? It's directly north of the door you went in when you came from the aqueduct. That Order of Lenin that Granin was talking about is the most prestigious award in the Soviet Union. It's given to individuals, organizations, and cities for outstanding achievements in warfare, science, industry, the arts, and various other fields. You could say it's the highest honor the East has to give. You say Granin was involved in the development of the SS-1C. The SS-1C is the Soviet's newest short-range tactical ballistic missile. Based on what Western intel has been able to gather, it's capable of being launched from a mobile platform. A mobile platform? Yeah. It's a transport vehicle that functions as an erector and a launcher. It can travel on roads, then erect and launch a missile from any location. Of course, in addition to conventional explosives, the missiles could also be fitted with chemical or even nuclear warheads. A nuclear missile that can be launched from any location? I'll bet it wasn't the missile itself that Granin helped develop. More likely, it was the mobile platform. From what I've heard, the SS-1C is set for actual deployment as early as next year. That's bound to send a chill down NATO's spine.
Snake, are you there? Eva, where are you? In the fortress, in Groznygrad. Dr. Sokolov is here too. Is he all right? He's fine. Right now he's busy putting the finishing touches on the Shagglehot. Good. That means they haven't killed him. Not yet anyway, but you better hurry. They've already finished the Phase Two tests. Once the final preparations are complete, they'll have no more use for him. The Colonel won't have any qualms about killing him if he thinks the CIA is closing in. Eva, you can't let Sokolov out of your sight. I know. Snake, do you know where Groznygrad is? Granin told me that I should be able to get there from the mountains to the north, through an underground tunnel. Granin told you? Yeah. He even gave me the key to the warehouse. Why? Because he was drunk, I guess. You've got to be kidding me. Hell if I know. Snake, there's one problem with that route. What problem? The mountain entrance to the underground tunnel that leads to the fortress is sealed. You need a key to get in. A key? What about the key Granin gave me? That key won't work. But don't worry, I'll figure something out. I have an idea. There are some ruins at the top of the mountains. Meet me there. The top of the mountains. Got it. Wait. There's something else I've got to tell you. Now what? I heard that one of the Cobras is waiting for you in the jungle at the foot of the mountains. He's a legendary sniper called The End. Yeah, I've seen him before. That ridiculously old guy, right? Don't underestimate him. He's known as the father of modern sniping. Is he alone? No spotter? None. He's all by himself. Apparently, he doesn't need a spotter. You can't be serious. The entire forest is on his side. The forest? Stay alert. Yeah. I'd hate to have it be the end for me. Do you want to save? Chin up. I'll be in touch. Snake, have you been contacted by Eva? Yeah. She said we'd meet up in the ruins at the top of the mountains. She also said she picked up the key to get into the tunnel that leads to Groznygrad. Good. Hurry to the rendezvous with Eva. Head for the mountains. Proceed north through the woods. There's an entrance to a mine shaft at the far northeast corner. Climb up the shaft and you'll come out in the mountains. Head north. I'm on it. But stay on your toes. Isn't the Cobra unit sniper lying in wait for you? Yeah, the end. But there's no other way. Watch yourself. Your opponent is a legendary sniper. Your fight with the end will likely be a long and grueling one. You should stock up on battle necessities like ammunition and provisions now, while you still can. Tell me something, Sigint. What's that? What does Sigint mean, anyway? It's short for Signal Intelligence. Signal Intelligence? The part of intelligence that deals with electronic information. Things like intercepting and analyzing electronic communications, determining enemy force strength and positioning from radar emissions and radio chatter. You get the idea. Code breaking is considered part of Sigint as well. Forty years from now, we'll be in the age of electronic warfare. It won't be long before information replaces firepower as the most valuable commodity on the battlefield. So you're saying they won't need guys like me anymore? Sorry to break it to you, but that's not gonna happen. No matter how advanced our technology gets, there's still no substitute for human beings. Hmm. Anyway, the Major is a man of foresight. He knew the electronic age was coming, and so he called out to me. And you responded? Well, I didn't have any place else to go. You couldn't find a job? Nope. None of the places where they do this kind of high-tech research would even let me in the door. Why not? I know you've got social problems, but... Come again? Nothing. I mean, someone with your talent ought to be able to... Yeah, well, maybe it has something to do with the fact that I'm black. Huh. The Major, though, he doesn't care about what color you are. I've never met anyone like him before. He's... different, you know? Oh, yeah, I know. I don't think racism's gonna go away even in the 21st century. But I want to work with computers and use them to bring people closer together. 
in the digital world. It doesn't matter whether you're black or white, American or Russian or whatever. Everybody's going to be the same. That's what I think. I see you've caught a coral sna I, I mean, a milk snake. The milk snake closely resembles the coral snake, but it's actually not venomous. Even so, you'll still take damage if it bites you, so don't get too close. Hmm. So is there a way to tell the difference between a milk snake and a coral snake? It's pretty difficult. They really do look almost exactly alike. I guess if I had to pick something, I'd say it's that the milk snake is much less aggressive. Okay. Ah, I just thought of a better way. You're going to love this. What? Eat it. Eat it? Yeah. The guide says milk snakes don't taste very good. Is that right? But if I've already caught and eaten it, what does it matter which kind of snake it was? It doesn't, does it? Shoot, I thought I had a good idea. No. I see you found a spatza. Spa. Spatza. Spatza. Right. Interesting name. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. So paramedic. What? What kind of mushroom is a spatza? Uh. You really want to know? I guess so. Okay. Let's see. The spots, uh... Yeah? It's gray. Hmm. And it grows on the ground. Yeah, and? That's all. That's all? That's all the guide says. Okay, so I don't know that much about it. Why don't you eat one and see? It might be pretty tasty. Eat one and see? What do I look like, a lab rat? Shh. What? What did I say? What if the rats hear you? You'll hurt their feelings. Yeah? I ate one of those spots of mushrooms you were talking about. Really? How did it taste? I passed out. Seriously? Yeah. So that's why they call it the bringer of sleep. What? Oh, I looked the word spots up afterwards and found out it means bringer of sleep in Russian. Well... But anyway, the reason the spots puts you to sleep when you eat it is because it contains a type of anesthetic substance similar to an alkaloid. Maybe if you soak a handkerchief or something in it, you could use it to put the enemy to sleep. Eating a spatza and falling asleep might cause your life and stamina to recover as well. Why don't you find a safe spot and try it out?
hey, this works. Do you want to save? Snake, I'm behind you 100%. Thanks. That means a lot. Snake, that forest is immense. It's too dangerous to proceed without adequate information. Give Eva a call. The name of that forest is Sviato Gorni. In Russian, it means something like the Sacred Mountain Path. The name comes from an old folk tale about mountain spirits who passed through there on their way to Sokrovieno, the forest to the north. Head north and you'll come to Sokrovieno. The tunnel that leads to the mountains is in the northern area of Sokrovieno. I'll meet you in the ruins at the top of the mountains. I'll give you the key to the tunnel leading to Groznygrad when you get there. Remember, go north. But Sokrovieno is also where... I know. The end, right? Yeah. One of the cobras, the end, is waiting for you in Sokrovieno. He's a legendary sniper. Until you defeat him in battle... I won't be able to move on. Right. Then I'll just have to beat him. I guess you will. When you're bitten by a venomous animal such as a snake or a spider, or hit by a poisoned arrow, the poison will start to affect your body. Your life will decrease with each passing minute, so cure the poison as soon as possible. To cure poison, go into Cure in the Survival Viewer and inject yourself with a dose of serum. You can get serum from enemies. Either hold them up, or shake their bodies down after you defeat them. I'm pretty sure you can also get serum by capturing the rabbits that live in that area.
Ugh!